Good afternoon, everybody. As you can see, I've got a box of 2018 Mega Box. Let's see if we can find Luis Robert. And a Series 1 2020 Tops Hanger. And I've got three packages <clears throat> mail. So we'll jump into the hanger box first. I uh, never found the Series 2 hanger boxes, or for that matter, never found any Series 2. I never found any chrome other than what I bought online, <clears throat> but I can't find anything in stores and I'm kind of burnt out driving back and forth to Target and Walmart trying to find it. So I just said, to heck with it. I'll just buy everything raw off eBay or wait till they come down a little bit and buy some hanger boxes. There's Nico Horner, good rookie. I'll put that off the side, Cup second baseman. We'll pull all the rookie cards. <clears throat> Max Bunty. Scherzer's having a pretty good year. This guy's coming on strong. I, re I really like that guy. I think he's a, kind of a forgotten player in the Blue Jays lineup, but as of today, he's leading the team in batting average a little over 300, so. He is having a horrible year. His power numbers are still good, but don't believe he's batting 200. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Congratulations. Can y'all see this card? This Vladdy out of 199? Look at the, look at the crease. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I have never seen that. That is awful. We got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. <clears throat> out of 199 black bordered card, and it has a crease all the way down the middle. That is pitiful. The Reese Hoskins is dented. Both of those are. Mm, let's see. The Clayton Kershaw's got a wave in it. Don Mattingly is bent. Come on, Tops. You got to be better than this. This All these cards are, are bent down the middle. That was a Kevin Biggio. The Devers is bent. Now, what would cause that to happen? I mean, what can I do? Can I... Sin tops. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie card, but it's it's bent. <clears throat> you think tops will do anything if I show them this? This is awful. I have never opened up a hanger box and seen that type of damage. It's like. It's like somebody took that card in the factory and purposely just broke it. Look at that. Wow. I have never seen that. Well, that's quite unfortunate for that to happen. Pretty much throw all of those cards away. I don't know what else to say about that, guys. Comment below if that's ever happened to you. Of course, it would happen on a black out of 199 relic of Vladdy Jr. <clears throat> that's going to be my luck. I just don't understand how that product gets out the door like that. All right, let's do some Mega Box. 
maybe we'll get a uh, maybe we'll get something that'll make us forget about that last pack. All right, here we go. Tookie. Josh Lowe. Not much going on there. At least these cards are in good shape so far. There's a Shed Long, first Bowman. There's a Christian Pache, first Bowman paper. I always like to pull the first Bowmans out and uh, put those off to the side. I didn't think we had one in here. Mm, yeah, we did, we had one paper. Hey, look at there. That's a good one. That's a good start. There's a Tatis Bowman Chrome. We'll take that. That don't make up for that Vladdy Jr. Black Parallel. Man. Brendan McKay, there's a Vladdy paper. Uh, whatever, Isabel. We're gonna call him Isabel. And a Kyle Tucker who's having a really, really good year. All right, pull those. One more and we're into our Mega Box packs, Chrome cards. And one first Bowman. Other than that, not much going on in there. All right. <clears throat> Done with those. Let's go with the Mega. Let's go with the Chrome. Ooh. Ooh, we got something thick in here. Oh, let's, let's, oh, it's gold. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my heart just skipped a beat. What do we got here, folks? DJ Peters. This guy had a good game the other day. They like this second baseman for the Mets. That's his first Bowman. That's a nice pull there. Carter Keyboom and... What do we have? This is a gold. Oh my gosh. Nope. I thought it was Wander. It is not. It is a pitcher. First Bowman of Michael Mercado, Tampa Bay. Numbered out of 50. You know, you can never go wrong with somebody's first Bowman gold card. Um, that's a great hit. I'm sure the odds aren't very good in a mega box, so I'd rather have a position player, but um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about that guy. <clears throat> I don't know if he's been pitching yet or not. That's a weakness in my game. I don't keep up with the pitchers as much as I do the everyday players. So Nothing thick in this one, but we do have something on the back that I just saw. So here we go. Kenzie Mills, first Bowman. J.P. Crawford, rookie card. First Bowman of Zach Littell, and we got a Vladdy. Man, dude needs to lose some weight. It's salt in an open wound. Let's 
So <clears throat> let's just let's just look at this again. Boy, that's aggravating. Good gosh. Hmm. Well, we pulled the Tatis and we got a gold, so I would say that's a good box. That's a win. And stuff like that is why I buy stuff graded or sometimes raw if I look the card over really well online. But you never can tell until you get it in. First package, let's see what we got. Because it's a mystery to me. I, I don't know what's, what these are when they come in. Oh, okay. Get out of this plastic. Well, this is just not cooperating. All right. We got a Fernando Tatis throwback Thursday. This is the 2019 card number 311. I don't know what these are going for now. Um, I think I got this for right around 65 or 70 bucks. Um, I, this, this, this came in two or three weeks ago. Um, I'm just now opening it, so it's a good looking card. I like those throwback Thursdays, and I think those are, I, I don't think there's a, as many of these printed as, you know, like a normal Topps run, so I like grabbing those throwback Thursdays. If you follow Soto and Acuna's throwback Thursdays, those cards have really, really jumped up a lot. All right, so here's a raw purchase. It didn't come in this. I've already taken it out of the folder. But it doesn't feel like they have it in a hard case. So i got to be careful with this. They have it in a white envelope with tape. Please have at least a penny sleeve on here. Okay, it does. It's actually in a hard case. Oh, and I'm glad it was, because look what it is. It's a Tatis. 2019 Aldo, when he was with the San Antonio Missions, numbered out of 10. I believe this is the red. Um, first glance, the card looks really good, and it was listed as Mint Plus. You know, no one's going to put Gem Mint on their auction, but um, it was pack pulled fresh and put in a penny sleeve and put into a hard case, so it looks really good. The centering looks good. So we'll see. That's out of five, or out of ten, but that's the red Tatis. Happy to add that to the collection. And one more. I like when they do this. Because I can reuse it. Free cardboard. we got here. It's taped in here pretty good. Oh boy. I like this one. Tommy likes you. Tommy wants wingy. Boom. Ronald Acuna, 2019 finest. Auto orange refractor out of 25. That's it. Take it all in. Look at that shine. There is two of these in a tin. And I was looking out there today, and PWCC has the other one listed. And it's on auction, so I'm following it, and I want to know what it goes for. Because I think it's going to go for twice what I paid, if not more. 
I got this before Acuna came off the IL, and since then I think he's hit five homers. I think he hit five homers in one series. So, got a steal on this. But um, that is it. Quick recap. We got that Tatis throwback, the Acuna. That Tatis red out of 10, auto. And then the Tatis we pulled is chrome. We got the gold, first Bowman of Michael Mercado or Mercado. Um, and then we pulled some, um, some first Bowmans of some pretty good prospects. And um, a couple other interesting cards. But the biggest disappointment is that, that, that these three cards are, and the, basically the whole pack was bent and my Kyle Lewis bent. So I'm gonna see, comment below, should I contact Tops and maybe take the video and send it to them and just say, hey, can you do something for me? I don't know if they will, they might tell me, screw off buddy, we're doing nothing, but anyways, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.